like, remember the way we thought at the time? It's better to fight them there than here. Who? Them. Who are they? Those bastards who who did this to us. Who did it? I don't know. They, Those bastards. Where are they? I, I, they're over there. Where? Well, if we fight them there, that's right. If we fight them there, we don't have to fight them here. Yeah, but they're already here. What do you mean? Well, they're in Jersey City. They're all over the place. Yeah, but... So you mean to tell me if we're in Tikrit, somehow Muhammad's going to get on the phone and say to his brother in uh, Bayonne, hey, listen, don't plan on blowing up the Lincoln Tunnel. Why? Because they're beating our ass over here in Tikrit. It made no sense. There hasn't been a 9-11 since 9-11. After all, Saddam Hussein and invading Iraq weren't because he was a despotic tyrant. And there hasn't been a 9-11 since 9-11. So the non-occurrence of an event means what? You know, since I've been taking an aspirin a day, do you know that, uh, Jews, since I've been taking a baby aspirin a day, I have not had any epididymal infections whatsoever. Therefore, taking an aspirin a day prevented, you know, ever since I put that Sloman shield up in my front yard, I haven't been burglarized. My neighbor hasn't been burglarized either, and he doesn't have a burglar alarm. So therefore, what? We were using logic that wasn't even logic. And look at us now. Look at us today. I mean, this is just an amazing thing. Look at us where we are today from that moment, 9-11, and with the casualty count in Iraq as of today, 4,155. And let me tell you something. I can't prove this, but I'll bet you anything that Paul Wolfowitz and Richard Pearl were in their Pentagon offices becoming onanistic when they saw those towers on fire, and especially when they saw them fall. Not that they had anything to do with it, but this was the beginning of the implementation of the Neocon Manifesto. This is Project for a New American Century, the second Pearl Harbor. It was here. And everything, look what followed after that. That's the legacy of 9-11. And now it's going to be years before we fix this scar and prevent dehiscence. Oh